selling your house? Thornton's Property. Experienced local staff that deliver the best results. Proud sponsors of Saints TV. So Albion Rovers this Saturday, what are you expecting from them? Um, you know, a cup tie when you play a team from the lower league. Um, they're never easy. Um, it's important that we approach it in the right way, but I'm expecting a tough game. They've scored a lot of goals this season. Um, but they'll be disappointed in terms of the number that they've conceded. So they're a very attack-minded side. Uh, but I think uh, you know, going away from home, uh, small ground, uh, pitch will be difficult. That it uh, sometimes that can level things out. So we've got to make sure that we're in the right attitude and in the right frame of mind to go there and expect a tough game. And if you go uh, expecting a tough game, I think you're focused and uh, you know should do well. But I'm expecting a really tough cup tie. Okay. So we have a few players back from loan um, and David McMillan newly joining the squad. So how are the new arrivals fitting in to the team at the moment? Well, for Jason and, and, and Chris, it's, it's, it's quite... Um, um, easy for them to switch back, you know, back in. They know all the players and have been here quite a long time, both of them. Uh, David's come in and, and fit it in really well, trained really well, and uh, you know he's looking forward to get, uh, you know, to getting started. Okay. Injury wise, how's the team looking? Um, Richard Foster and don't, don't touch suspensions is suspended, so he'll uh, he'll miss out. Um, Paul Payton's making good progress with his um, ankle injury. Uh, Brian Easton's a bit of a concern, we'll, we'll probably have to send him for a scan, he's got a little bit of a problem with his pelvic area, so, which had flared up at the start of the season, we thought we'd get rid of it, but it's, um, it's come back again, so that's a bit of a concern, but um, them two, along with young Callum Henry, are the, the only real injuries that we've got. Okay. So what's training looked like since the break, um, and how has the weather, the snow, impacted preparation? Um, Ideally, we'd like to get on the grass a lot more, but we've we've been able to manage. You know, it's just a couple of players, country and an Astro, so um, preparation's been good. We've we've trained hard. The fitness levels are good. They wouldn't lose much fitness anyway in the ten days. You know that uh, you know that they they had off, um, and they were given programs to do, and they've all come back in good shape. So we're just ready to get back into, which is the start of a very. Uh, you know, competitive period for us with the number of games that we've got. So Scottish Cup match, um, very important to the club. Um, how important is a strong performance in sh really showing up to play? Well, I mean, cup competitions, um, you know, historically prove the best opportunity. I keep saying it every year for the smaller clubs to get success and to win trophies. And um, you know, we were fortunate enough to do it back in. Uh, you know, 2014, and we know what that feels like. Some of the players know what that feels like. Some of the supporters knows, you know, the uh, how that feels. So we've got to make sure that we try and get on another cup run. And you can only take each game at a, you know one game at a time in the cup, and it's an important game, and it's one that uh, we want to certainly go and win because it has. Uh, I think when you go on a cup run, it gives everybody a lift, it gives players a lift, and it gives supporters a lift. So hopefully, you know, certainly with the start of another cup run. Okay. Um, and finally, any words to the 1,000 travelling supporters? Are we getting 1,000? I didn't know we are getting as many as that. Well, that would be great. If we've got 1,000 there, we'd probably... Um, I mean, our away, away support uh, um, have been really good again this season. I mean, in terms of numbers, um, if you take it on a percentage of what our home gate says, we take quite a high percent away from home and they go everywhere. So uh, no, that's good if we've got 1,000 tickets. I didn't realise we had... Uh, you know the that much of a, a ticket allocation, so that's great, and they'll they'll give us they'll get right behind us. But it's important that you know we put on a show and, and make sure we can give them a good day. All right, thank you very much. All right.